Boom shakalaka, what is up guys? Randall here from Crypto Love and today we have a crypto news episode. Yes, I forgot to do one last week. I was so busy wrapped up in things. Oops. You know, but we've got one for you today. Now, before we get started, I just want to say thank you to everyone subscribing out there. Guys, warming up my heart. Thank you so much. Thank you to everyone mashing on that like button. And also, guys, I am giving away a free Ledger Nano S every week at our late night live stream, which just so happens to be tonight, Tuesday, 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time. To find out how, stay tuned. Now let's get started, all right? We'll start with the news. What are some news? So, EU is looking to protect banks from Bitcoin because yeah, banks should be protected from Bitcoin. It could take all the money from them. But actually, this article is about this former MI5 agent who's like, we have to regulate Bitcoin and stuff because of all those terrorist organizations and money laundering and all that stuff. Guys, people have been laundering money for years and years without Bitcoin. And really, any brilliant person, they're not gonna use Bitcoin, they're gonna use something with no trace, like, Monero, like Zcoin, like any of the other privacy coins. I mean, really, why would they use Bitcoin? That can be tracked. It's public knowledge. You want a privacy coin if you are doing that stuff and you shouldn't be doing that stuff, you know. But anyways, go on. Next one. This is crazy, okay? We all know back in November, Mike Novogratz bought like $20 million of Bitcoin. That was the Novogratz pump, okay? Well... Another big investor, Bill Miller, all right, invests 50% of his hedge fund in Bitcoin. Now you're saying, ah, 50% of his fund. What, the, what could that be? It could be $1.1 billion. That's a lot in Bitcoin. And if you think the price of Bitcoin isn't going up, ah, look at that. All right, next announcement. This one's just for fun, okay? Bitcoin.com CTO denounces Bitcoin, says, I've switched to Bitcoin Cash. I'm done with it. I'm freaking done with it. So Bitcoin.com co-founder and CTO, ML Odenberg, says Bitcoin is useless and has no future as a tradable currency. No kidding, it's a store of wealth, all right? Gold has no use as a tradable currency. I'm not going to go to the supermarket and pay in gold. Just like I'm not going to the supermarket and paying in Bitcoin, I'm storing my money in gold. I'm storing my money in Bitcoin because the U.S. dollar is worthless and so is Bcash. I know that's going to incite some riots here. I'm not a big fan of Bcash particularly because of the other co-founder of Bitcoin.com, Roger Ver. Okay, no wonder the, the one co-founder switches and says he's not supporting Bitcoin anymore. He's going with Bcash because Roger Ver, other dude. Okay, now, if you go look at Bitcoin.com, I did that. And they're like, Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. How about Bcash? Well, it's an upgraded version of Bitcoin, kind of like the upgraded version of Coke, New Coke. We all remember what happened with New Coke. In three months, it was gone. They retracted it. And it's taking a little bit longer with Bcash. And now you might be saying, why do I keep calling it Bcash? Well, I couldn't find this video on my own, so I had to thank uh, Cameron over Crypto Daily. But watch this. Let's highlight this issue. I have enough money. I was a self-made multimillionaire. It's Bitcoin Cash. It's Bitcoin Cash. Bitcoin Cash, it's Bitcoin Cash. Bcash. Not Bcash, it's Bitcoin Cash. It's what I call it. I'm not doing it on purpose. It's it's just so easy. This interview is over. I don't need to be insulted. I was a self-made millionaire before I even got involved in Bitcoin. I don't need to be insulted by some person on the internet. And what's your gross annual revenue? Less than a million dollars, huh? It's less than a million dollars. So that of course. You don't know how to run a successful business. Your little porno site, Stupotica, and you're here insulting what I'm trying to do. Any, anyway. Wow. And, and Roger Ver just keeps on going on and on and on. I mean, I think if he actually wanted Bcash to be taken seriously, they would find someone else to represent it. Like, why on earth would you have uh, this guy representing what could be a multi-billion dollar company? That's insane. All right? I don't think he's ever going to watch this video. But yeah, absolutely insane. It's called Bcash. At least that's what I call it. Because of that. Because it's not Bitcoin. Now, other stuff. All right? Blockchain.info CEO says that central banks are going to be holding crypto in reserve. Go figure. It's a new asset class. All right. They held money before. Now they're holding cryptocurrencies. Makes sense. Makes all the more reason why if you are not in right now, you better get in. And should you buy in all at once? No. Dollar cost average your way in. Silly. Duh. Duh. This teen Bitcoin millionaire, little Richie Rich over here. He says, give Bitcoin this Christmas. All right, his grandmother gave him $1,000 a few years ago. He bought Bitcoin in 2011 when it was $12 a coin. Now he's a millionaire. 
And that could happen to you guys too. Bitcoin's probably going up. I mean, he even says he looks at everything at times 10 right now. So, and that's the minimum. I mean, they say Bitcoin, John McAfee says Bitcoin could be worth a million dollars or he's going to his own, you know? So that would be reason that would make it go up. Was it at, I don't know, 50 times? Yeah, it could still do that. And if you guys want to learn how to give Bitcoin this Christmas, I made a whole video on it behind my head there. Bitcoin, the ultimate gift webinar. Go look at that. I show you how to do it step by step if you can use Coinbase and if you cannot use Coinbase. So go check that out. Now, on to what you all are here for. The coins of the week. What's going on with the coins of the week? Oh, this is exciting. This has been an exciting week. All right. Now, Bitcoin has been kind of just kind of dragging this week, only up 5.76%. And really, when I was going through this, oh, 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 man. Okay, I start looking. I'm like, oh, Ripple up 167%. That's crazy. And then I'm like, Cardano up 354%. And I'm like, EOS up 143%. And then I'm like, Qtum up 394%. Today, 100% means absolutely nothing. Okay? We're only looking at cryptos that are up at least 300% because that's what we do here. Do you realize with the traditional investment... You would have to wait like 17 lifetimes in order for your investment to go up 300%. God, that is mind-blowing. All right, so, I mean, looking at things, this has been a stellar week for cryptocurrencies. All right, Cardano, EOS, Qtum, Tron up 582%. God. Lisk, one of my favorites, up 100%. Uh, what else? Augur, Verge, up 628%. Percent. Oh, take that in. Guys, take that in. This is a beautiful thing. Now, guys, I should mention, I did take a look at the Bitcoin MACD. It looks like things may be slowing down. If this bull run is slowing down, things may come back down. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is just what I'm thinking. Things may come back down. And... Cryptocurrency prices may come back down. So I would recommend setting a stop loss. That way, you know, you don't have to ride a giant wave down, especially if these cryptocurrencies have nothing backing up these recent price spikes. Because what happened? Bitcoin shot up and then everybody wants to put their Bitcoin in cryptocurrencies. Those prices shoot up. Now things slow down. Whoo, everything could be coming back down. Now let's take a look at them. Cardano, you guys might recognize this one. This one I mentioned in my top five undervalued cryptocurrencies. And for good reason. I mean, blockchain 3.0, right? Charles Hoskinson seems pretty brilliant when he talks, all that stuff. Now, what caused this price spike? I mean, really, whew, what was I, What was it at? It was at like, I don't know, 10 cents, 12 cents less. I don't know. No, it was at like two cents when I was recommending it. Okay, two cents. There you go. I'll just drop the mic. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm just a person. I don't know anything. I don't have any secrets. But, uh... Anyways, what's causing this? I was trying to look up. Like, what did they do? New development, new project, new blockchain, implementation, website change. What's causing it? And really, not that much. YouTube is heating it up. So, you're welcome. And also, uh, some insane shilling on Reddit and 4chan. And me being an uh, American white dude, I didn't know what the heck shilling meant. Even though I've been hearing it a whole bunch because I've been hanging out with some Brits. But... I just assumed that I knew what it meant, so I had to go to Urban Dictionary, look it up. Shilling, turns out it means lies, okay, lies. It could also, it could also mean penis. So if somebody says my shilling itches, they're not talking about their lies. Just to be known, in case it's used that way, in case you go to Lancashire, all right? Next one is Qtum. Qtum heated up, oh my goodness. It has exploded. It literally went from $12 to $70, and for good reason. I mean, Qtum is a decentralized application platform, an Asian one, all right? And they potentially have some ICOs coming out on there, potentially. If you guys want more information on this, you guys should come watch the live stream on Thursday where I'll be talking with Blockchain Brad and also Tyler from Chico Crypto about this NEO other things going on in Asia because they are the experts of the Asian blockchain, right? Uh, next one, Tron. Tron shot up. I mean, I got airdrops from Tron tokens back in the day, so I've just been kind of riding this one up kind of accidentally, really. 
But why is Tron shooting up? I think a lot of speculation about what's going on. I mean, they do have some good things going for them. So Justin Sun, young guy, 30 under 30, okay? He's also a protege of Jack Ma, the founder the founder of Alibaba. So he's got good connections. He went to University of Pennsylvania. I mean, I also went to University of Pennsylvania to meet my friend for lunch sometimes. So <laughs> I didn't actually go to school there, but my friend works there and I would meet him for lunch. What's up, Ryan? Uh, he would never watch this. I don't think so. I told him to go mine some vert coin. He didn't want to. Uh, but other things. Look at this. Tron has some huge backers. Okay. Jihan Wu, CEO of Bitmain. Uh, also, who else? Who else? I saw some other names here. I don't know. There were some names. You can see this stuff here. Oh, the founder of Nebulous. Something to look out for. <laughs> go look it up. But also partnered with these people. Ex already listed on a few exchanges like Binance, my favorite exchange. And so they have all that stuff going on for them. So maybe that caused the price spike, maybe, or maybe it was just really cheap. Also Verge, Verge was up 600 some percent this week. That is blah, blah, mind blowing. Now why? Because of the Wraith protocol. What did you say? The Wraith protocol. Yeah, the Wraith protocol. Okay, and here's why the Wraith Protocol is cool. So what is the Wraith Protocol? It's like teenage sex. Everybody talks about it, but nobody really knows what it is. That, my friends, is the Wraith Protocol. But for you serious people out there who don't want the jokes, okay? Um, the Wraith Protocol is a technology that allows the user to seamlessly switch between public and private ledgers. That's pretty cool. That means that you can have stuff on a public ledger but if you have a business or whatever, you can switch over to the private ledger, just like that. I mean, now there are some other cryptocurrencies like NEO with NEO X who are doing that as well. Um, also, there's a lot there's a lot of this going on now with public and private ledgers. But Wraith Protocol, it's this uh, back I think in October when this article came out. Yeah, October 14th. There was a price pump when they when they announced the Wraith Protocol. Now they're talking about the implementation, the drop of it. Again, everybody wants to buy Verge before that happens, and for good reason. I spoke with Crypto Ellis on a live stream last week. He said Verge is one of his favorite privacy coins, so I would trust the guy for sure. Now, that's the news in terms of cryptocurrencies today because we're only talking at ones in the top 100 that have gone up over 300%, all right? I don't do that 100% BS. That's not enough. Not enough. So guys, that brings us to the end of the episode today. One thing that I forgot to do last week because I did not do a news thing was if you are a Patreon member, if you support Crypto Love on Patreon at the $3 level, okay, you can get your name mentioned on a very episode of Crypto Love once a week. All right, so Phil Davis, my first $3 Patreon, he gets his name and also his sweet mug posted on the Crypto Love episode. So thank you, Phil. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. All right. If you guys want to be a Patreon, you could just head over to patreon.com slash crypto love and you could support Crypto Love there too. Now, like I said, guys, this Thursday, I am going to have a live stream with Blockchain Brad and Tyler from Chico Crypto Consultants. And this time, no technical difficulties. We're hammering that stuff out early on. We are going to have Brad there, I promise. Or if he's not, I'm going to have a sock puppet that looks like Brad. And I'm just going to be like, hi, I'm Blockchain Brad. Yeah. So make sure you watch that, guys. It's going to be awesome. Brad is going to blow some of our minds. And so is Tyler because they are two of the smartest guys I know out there. And I love to have them on live streams. We have a whole bunch of fun. I get to drink with Tyler from Chico Crypto. Woo! Now, for what most of you have been waiting for, you dealt with all that BS just so you could find out how to get a free Ledger Nano S. Well, that's cool. Whatever. Uh, go to crypto-love.com slash ledger, and you can enter to win a free Ledger Nano S cold storage device. I will be giving away one for free tonight, Tuesday, October. No, we're in December. December whatever it is today. Maybe the 19th at 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time. All right? And I'm doing it every Tuesday at our Nightlight Live streams, giving away a free Ledger Nano S. I'm buying it. I'm sending it to you. I am shipping it. All this stuff for free. All you have to do is enter here, and you could win one absolutely free. And that brings us to the very end. That is it for today. Guys, I want to thank you so much for joining us for an episode. It has been an absolute pleasure. 
Uh, I mean it from the literally the bottom of my heart, from the depths of my heart. Thank you to everyone subscribing. Like, poof, I never would have thought that uh, I could have been up to 27,000 some subscribers this quickly. Oh, my goodness. Woo, wow. I mean, wow, it is mind-blowing. And I have all of you to thank. So I really want to say from the bottom of my heart, guys, thank you so much for being a part of the community. It really does mean the world to me. I literally jump out of bed happy every morning that I can share with you guys. So... Thank you very much. I will catch you guys next time. I'll see you tonight at the Late Night Livestream. All right. Peace.